Hello everybody and welcome back to the mobile app development course uh, and in today's video we're going to take a look at the camera um, so this will be a fun one we're going to look at the camera and how to take a picture on the camera and use it in an app so this tutorial the code for the tutorial is going to be in the examples folder so I'm going to uh, the CS453 class and I'm going into the examples folder Search by the modified date here. Uh, let's see, because uh, I just put them in, that's why I'm searching on the modified date. Otherwise, you could uh, just look in the list here. Uh, and what we're looking for is the one that says camera, camera.txt on it. So the camera demonstration will show you how to use the Android camera in an app. Uh, it's fairly easy to do and it's kind of fun so let's take a look to see how it works uh, so go ahead and open up android studio and start a new android project uh, let's see go we're just gonna select the, the general the empty activity is a good one and click on next uh, i'm gonna call this one camera doesn't really matter what we call it and uh, I've got my minimum API set to Oreo. It doesn't really matter what you set it to. I'll just leave it alone. Seems to work out right. I think my emulator is actually using 28. Uh, it's using Pi, but it's okay. Oreo is fine. Uh, so I'm going to press uh, finish. And see what I get. I get a lot of waiting is what I get. Loading the project. It doesn't shouldn't take too long. Oh, with the recording software running, it seems to be running a little slower, but it's okay. Yeah, it looks like my Nexus one is uh, using API twenty eight. It's okay though. It'll work. All right. Um. So let's go to the camera code. We only have to change two files: the main activity Java. And the activity underscore HTML, uh, the activity uh, XML file. So let's go ahead and change the X activity XML file first. So I'm gonna cut and paste this code. Excuse me. Stick it in activity underscore main dot XML. Uh, we're basically just gonna add a button to the interface. So our interface is. Uh, gonna have a button on it and there's also gonna be an image view uh, and this is just a, a placeholder it's in the drawable folder already uh, but we're gonna put the image when we take the picture we're gonna take the picture that we take and we're gonna stick it in this image view so we're gonna press a button to take a photo so the, the button's gonna say take a photo on it and uh, the image view looks like I'm still <laughs> looks like I'm still loading uh, the image view <laughs> is going to uh, be populated with the picture that we take. So after you've put the layout in there, uh, hopefully your, your Android has uh, started. Mine seems to be syn synced up now, which is good. Uh, so we have an image view and we have a button. So it's pretty basic stuff we've done already. Uh, so now what we want to do, I'm just going to take everything except for the package, take everything here and replace it with the code here. And then I'll talk about the code in a few minutes here. The proof of concept as well to make sure my code works. Uh, let's see. All right. So what do we got in here? Um, let's see. We we know about intense. We got graphics bitmap. Uh, that's a new bundle. That's that's a new um, that's a new import for us. It looks like we don't need the view. I could probably pull that out, but it doesn't really matter. I didn't put a menu in this one. Uh, so we've got uh, the rest of the, well, yeah, the rest of the imports are pretty basic. This might be a new import for you, for us, the graphics.bitmap, uh, but it's not too bad. All right, so main activity extends activity. You could also do the compact act, act, app activity or any other type. Um, this is just a, a, an older example, so it's extending activity. And uh, we've got an integer for the camera request. This is kind of like one of those things you need uh, in order to register the camera request. An image view, uh, which is on our interface. And I'll just put a little space in here. I'll space this out a little bit so it looks a little bit better. 
the onCreate method using our activity main and our image view. Here's our image view. It's going to hold. Uh, we're finding view by ID by by ID for the image view one, and we're doing the same thing for the button. I guess we could have put a button up here too. Uh, button is the photo button. That's going to be button one, and um, our photo button dot uh, the set on click listener. And for the on click listener, we're going to run an intent, and the intent is going to be called camera intent, and it's going to run a new intent, and the new intent is going to be from the provider, from media store. So Android provider dot media store dot action image picture. So this is the key. This is what's making the camera work. So we're running a built-in intent, um, or excuse me, the, a, a built-in provider, content provider for the phone, Android provider, dot media source, and we're running it through an intent. And so we're gonna start the activity for result, and this is the intent we're gonna run. And then we're going to this camera request, that's this ID that we stuck up here. This is the uh, the integer ID. You could hard set it here. Just put like one or zero if you wanted to. You just have to give it an ID number. All right. Um. So on the activity result, so this is gonna this is gonna throw up an intent, and it's gonna start the camera. It's gonna start the action image capture, which is gonna get us into the point where we can take a picture. Now, when we click the picture button to take the picture, what's gonna end up happening is it's gonna send an on activity result automatically. And so we're gonna override this method here for on the activity result. Once we get a result from that activity, once we press the button and we take a picture, then if the request code is equal to the camera request, which is the, this is the intent here that we ran. And so this is the request code. So it's coming from this camera intent, um, which is going to be equal to it. So if the event came from this intent that we did, which is what this is basically checking for, then we're going to create a bitmap. And this is the new part I told you about. Uh, so data.getextras.getData. So it's, it's going to get the data and this is this is from intents get extras and um, this is going to get it from the intent so pull the data that's coming from the intent from this request code get the date get the extras uh, dot get and we're just going to get is the data that's going to come out which is going to be the picture and we're going to typecast it to a bitmap which is a picture format image format and we're going to put it to the variable bit that's a variable data type bitmap that's called photo and then we're going to set the image view to set the image to photo so this is very similar to some of the other intents that we've looked at so far in the in the, using intents and it's just an it's just another example of an intent but this intent is using the content provider from the media store to get to the camera believe it or not that is all the code that's all we need so if we run it, we'll take a look and see what it does. We run it. Uh, it is building. You can see Gradle building. Any day now, if it takes too long, I'll pause the video, but it should be running. It should run okay. I will pause the video. Uh, yeah, let's just pause the video for a moment until it boots up, until it gets onto the emulator. Well, the moment I moment I paused it, it actually started running. So, so I installed successfully, and uh, so this background image I don't know what that's supposed to be actually. That uh, by default, it was set um, in the XML file. It was supposed to be uh, it's IC launcher background. Well, we don't actually have anything. That's supposed to be this picture here. This uh, drawable IC launcher background. Uh, so who knows? You could, you could probably put a better picture in there. And we probably could have moved it over a little bit too. But let's see what happens when we press the button to take a photo. So I'm pressing the take a photo button. 
and it's going to bring up the camera on the phone. So your camera might look a little different than my camera does. I'm going to wait, give it a few minutes here. There we go. Um, there we go. It looks like, so we have a fake room that shows up. You can actually set the camera on the emulator with a different picture. If you do that, you could click on that camera here or the camera here, excuse me, camera. And then I have no images, so it's just using the default, but you could put like a wall and a table and set the TV um, for animation and stuff. So you could add images to the emulator to show up in this fake camera. Um, but if you don't, you just get the default that shows up, which is this pretty cool looking room, actually. If a room doesn't show up, it means the camera's probably not loaded yet. Um, so you can move around the orientation in the room. Um, you may also get uh, some messages asking for permission to use the camera in the app. Uh, go ahead and say okay for those if that comes up. It's the first time you run the camera on the emulator. You're going to get some messages to um, ask you if you want to load, if you want to use it. So, so I'm just going to take a picture. So I'm going to press on the camera. And now it's going to say to, to press the, the uh, option to move the camera around. I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to leave it alone. I'm waiting for a picture to show up. Yep, there we go. So my picture has shown up because I get this OK or get rid of it or go back. So it's kind of a crude interface on this phone. Um, so I'm going to press on the, the check mark so because I want to go back to my app now and I want to see this picture that I took in my app. So I'm going to go ahead and press OK. And that's the picture that I took that's now in my app in my image view. So I could take another picture. I'm not exactly sure if I can figure out how to do another picture here. Uh, let's see. So we can move it around. Let's see if I can figure out how to navigate. Uh, control view with a mouse. Oh, there we go. Okay. Ooh, there's a couch in there. Hold on a second. Let me just do the couch. Oh, there we go. That's a pretty nice looking room. And I took a picture of the couch. And uh, I'm waiting for the image to render, to save. You do have to give it a few minutes. On this particular emulator, I'm waiting for the check mark to appear, and it does. And so I'm using a Nexus 1, by the way, and I'm going to press OK on the check mark. Oh, there we go. Now I have the new image there, too. And I believe that these images are probably stored on my desktop, actually. Uh, let's just take a look here. Um, I do have the image stored on the desktop. A screenshot. Uh, let's just take a look here. Is it a screenshot? That's the first one. Okay. Looks like uh, it cached the image on my desktop. Uh, interesting. That's the first image. I don't see the second one in here, but... Uh, in any case, um, you can sort of see how the how the camera works. You do have to give it a few minutes. Um, it does take does take some time. Um, you do move the mouse around. You will get like a three sixty degree kind of. I wonder if there's a front door this way. Oh, there we go. I don't know whose house this is. Uh, looks better than mine. <laughs> so. Uh, we'll take we'll take a picture of the ceiling. Uh, so you can uh, I mean if you want to get more creative with this, you could add some uh, put it on a real device and take some real pictures. Uh, it'd allow you to save it to the library, allow you to to, to do a bunch of stuff with it. Uh, but this is gathering a picture and it's sticking in an app. And what I've seen this useful for is like when you want to do like um, uh, take a picture of something and then use it in the app to send it to somebody or like to email it or, or something or to use it um, in the app for like, uh, let's say it's a delivery service and you want to take a picture of the receipt and the company is going to go to the store and pick it up and here's a copy of the receipt. So, so it allows you to use the camera on the phone to take a picture and then load the picture into an image view and then use it in the app somehow.
this is not really doing anything with it but we have the file it's in the uh, we have the image itself so if we go back to the code momentarily here and we take a look at it um, we could anything we, now we have the image right here so it's it's the photo this is the image so we could save it send it email it um, do whatever we want with it and put it in a couple of image views uh, manipulate it but that's how you use an intent to capture an image from the camera, bring it into the app, and populate it into an image view. So I hope you have enjoyed the video, and we will have another video on another topic soon. So thanks for watching.